What is going on, everybody? Good morning. It's Savage from Coffee First or Savage and Val. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm, there we go. All right. So, what is what is happening with with our school systems right now? All right, it is bad enough that. The kids are having to do this stuff from home. They're have to doing it. They're having to do it online and everything. And I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but parents are now being requested to not hear what their children are being taught. Now, this is something that's been happening for a little bit now. This has been a concern not only of parents, but apparently of some teachers as well. I don't know if you guys heard about the tweet that has now been deleted that a teacher posted they were worried that now the parents would actually know what their children are being taught in schools. What? Okay, that's messed up for two reasons here. One, that a teacher would be worried about what the parents would think of what their kids are being taught by said teacher. And two, the fact that parents don't know what their kids are being taught. Parents, y'all are slacking. I'm calling you out for this. You're slacking should always know what your kid's being taught. When I was growing up, we had parent-teacher conferences that our, that our parents showed up to. Uh, we had, they would give the, the parents the course syllabus for the year and everything like that. You know, the parents were involved. They helped with homework. They knew everything that you were doing at school. Now, apparently, that all changed. We don't know what our kids are doing in school anymore. What? It's madness. If I could edit videos, guys, there'd be a Sparta kick right there. That's that's just what it would be. Anyway. But <laughs> what this is crazy, guys. And and I I think I've come up with a solution for this. Because what is the point in in complaining about things if you never come up with a solution for anything, right? So now to clarify very quickly here, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know what the laws are in your state pertaining to this potential solution here that I have for you, but check the laws in your state before you go off and just do this, okay? Now, where I'm at, I can record audio of private conversations and everything as long as one person involved in the conversation knows that it's being recorded. You're allowed to do that, okay? Now... In some states, that might not be the case. That I know it's not the case in every state. So you do need to go check up on your laws. However, if you can, or if you, you might need to get permission and you might be able to get permission. If you can, there is a free program. Now, this is not, I'm not sponsored or anything like that by these people. There's no money that I'm making off of this. This is just from my own personal usage and knowledge of this. So I use a program sometimes called audacity and if you get why that's funny cue Alanis Morissette music and if you tell me what I'm talking about right there in regards to Alanis Morissette leave a comment down below and I'll shout you out in the next video moving on audacity it's a free program guys and it allows you to record audio uh, no video or anything like that because even if you can in a one-party state record audio uh, you can still get into a lot of trouble for recording someone on video anyway my point being you can record the audio and of your kids lesson that day and everything not just for worried reasons or nefarious reasons of on the teacher's part or anything like that but just to be able to go back and help your kid later on with homework maybe they didn't catch a certain part of a lesson maybe they did and they kind of forgot about it or something so now you can go back and they can listen to that part of the lesson over again and they can get it and they can understand it better all right uh, i think kids have been doing this in college for years where they're just like recording the lessons whether it be on just like an actual re audio recorder or something like that a little tape from back in the 90s and early 2000s you kids don't remember that stuff uh, but we've been doing this for years and it hasn't been an issue. So I think the real issue here is not knowing what your kids are being taught. And that is, again, a worry apparently from both sides. So that's my solution to it, guys. Uh, if you guys know of any other free programs that work really well for audio recording, uh, also, if you, 
If you know what the laws are in your state, please leave a comment below because if people watch this and they don't know, then maybe they can look it up. But also post links to it. Don't just tell people stuff, you know, post a link to the law in your your state and everything and other people can find out as well. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an interesting school year. Got a feeling a lot of kids are going to be getting pulled out of school. What is going on with my hair back there? I don't know. I just got up a little bit. It's still the morning. Coffee first, people. Go check out the podcast. Link down in the description below. Oh, it's so good. Links down in the description below for all of this fun connectivity stuff on social media that we all just love to hate so much. Uh, thank you guys for checking this out. Please go check out the Coffee First podcast. And we will be going a little more in depth on this later as Val has some uh, professional and personal experience with this. So she's going to give you guys a little bit more from the other side of things, both the parenting and the teacher side. So be sure to go check out all the other videos, all that fun stuff. Like, subscribe, notification bell. You guys know the drill. And I will catch you guys on the next one.